Hello everyone, welcome to Tableware. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tableware plugins to make your responsive and dynamic tables in WordPress. So let's get started. First, go to the post editor and click on the plus sign. Here, type Tableware. Click on the Tableware. Now here, put your specific column and row number. I'm setting it up like I need four column and five rows. Click create table. Now look, we are seeing a basic skeleton of our table as our input. So now I'm adding contents. Today I'm gonna work with some dummy devices and let's add this up, okay? I would add their features, I would add their ratings and prices. As these are my table properties or headings, so let's bolden them up and set in the middle. I'm selecting them and from here, I'm aligning them in the middle and bolden them up. I'm speeding the process here. Now, in this device section, I wanna add photos. To do that, just click on the cell and click on the plus sign here and add Tableberg image. You may upload it or you may add it from your media library. So I'm adding it from my media library. Here I have collected some pictures, adding it up. Okay, the initial size wouldn't match maybe. So uh, we can resize it from here. I'm putting a random number like 120 pixel. Well, this is enough for me right now. Okay, I'm adding this up again, same process. Just adding it from media library. Well, I'm speeding up the process here. Now, at this features section, I want to add some list items as I want to define my device's specs. So click on the plus sign and here click on the list and you'd get a list item. So I'm adding some size resolution. You may customize as you like as it is a dummy purpose so i am not elaborating it i'm just simply copying it from here and i am going to the next speeding the process okay in this rating section i'm just simply typing like it is five out of five okay now in this price section i'm gonna add a button so click on the plus sign and add button as easy as this I'm adding check price, each cell, I'm adding a button here. Now see, we have got our first table here and I'm adding some more customization, like I'm aligning this into center. It would look nice. And see, when you click on the table, just click this specific area and you would find some specific options in the right hand side options panel here. With this slider, you may increase up to 1000 pixel. And if you need furthermore, you can customize it from here. You may type it. And if you click on the style tab, you can change the colors, even row background colors or row background colors. You may try it to separate your data sets. And most importantly, you may add cell paddings. Look, this is left and right paddings. This is up and down paddings. So adjust your paddings and you may work with borders with this slider from here you can customize it and when you click here you may customize even further uh, i want to give it like five pixels so look here it is available and inner border size you may customize your inner border look how it's affecting uh, now i'm setting it up one in fact if you want to close it up if you don't want any border in your table you may disable it. So this is how you can work with your tables with Tableware blog. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.